it's week five, it's Memorial Day, and in honor of Memorial Day, in true American fashion, uh, the level of brinksmanship I have going from week to week on these videos is pretty unsustainable. So we'll see about maybe retooling the format for next week. Uh, but in the spirit of gimmicks, uh, today we're going to take this cauliflower and turn it into a ceviche, uh, which hearing it out loud sounds like in UHF when uh, Rolls Wild Kingdom says, today we're teaching poodles how to fly. Uh, so we are teaching cauliflower how to be a Mexican summertime staple. Similar. This recipe calls for one small head of cauliflower. I went ahead and took the one I had and cut it in half, um, but then it just sort of exploded into tiny little florets all over the cutting board. So I'm using this uh, left hemisphere to show you what I cut so far. Um, shout out Janessa for my surfboard cutting board. It's fantastic, thank you. All right. Oh, I'm trying to remember from my cog side classes, I've been making sagittal slices into this cauliflower. I don't know, we'll find out. I, oh, it's running off that cutting board. In honor of how much mincing this recipe calls for, I've got Princess and the Frog playing in the background. If Naveen can do it, so can I. But I am gonna give this knife my full attention. Dice up some tomato and, oh, as I was washing this, um, and pop that little stem off. This reminds me of uh, in junior high, um, I had, or maybe not high school, had Burt's Bees Garden Tomato Toner and it was oh, super great. I would very rather smell like a garden than a flower anytime. And I am no gardener yet, but man, that's fantastic. Um, I also know, I don't want to mess with any seeds, so let's scoop these little beasts out. You can tell I have no training because my technique is pure danger. Poor Mamita having to watch these. Hmm. But they sure do slice better that way. All right, so next we have red onion and the onion that came with the delivery was a little bit beaten up. So we're gonna have to pull some of those top layers off for onion recovery. But I have a feeling there's a real beauty inside. Oh, that smells fantastic. All right, little onion, let's lose the first couple layers because we got spare. <laughs> So maybe we won't lose the first couple layers. Uh, yeah, that should do. All right. And we will Trashosaurus Rex these. Oh, and I got onion skins on me. Okay. Off we go. Can't quite force an avocado. Oh no, the fact that it won't turn seems like a deal breaker. All right, I think I'm gonna let the avocado not be in this dish. And also, oh. All right. So this avocado that I forced to ripe is either internet perfect or feels like it's not quite ripe enough, but we'll see, we'll try. I feel weird using all these metal things around an avocado. It's not ready, y'all. Hmm, hmm.
My abuelita always had a uh, like a beautiful glass where she would keep her cilantro in the refrigerator all the time, all the time. Um, I have a Bud Light cup from a Charger game, um, which is also how I get my nephew to drink water when he's hanging out with me. I tell him that if he drinks the whole cup, it's a touchdown. Um, he definitely scores a couple touchdowns, but he also spends the entire day peeing. Aw, good times. Um, yeah. All right, let's foil, roll this little guy up so we've got room for the knife to come in. Uh, I am so sorry for my friends who are watching this who have the cilantro soap gene. That feels like a real tragedy. Um, absolutely one of my favorite smells in the world, scents in the world. Um, I'm super intrigued to someday make like a mojito, but using cilantro instead of mint. I think that would be fantastic. I think that's what the world wants to drink. So this is our cauliflower, um, and we're adding to that our tomatoes. Um, our chopped red onion. That did stick. Um, our jalapeno. I've had a super busy week and didn't have a chance to go get fresh ones, so freeze-dried ones that I reanimated a little bit so they don't steal any of the lime juice. Thanks, freeze-dried jalapenos. In a pinch, you are always there for me. A um, little bit of salt. Oh, got a lot of bit of salt over that middle portion. I'm gonna have to uh, stir it up a little bit better. Um, and then our lime juice. I am pretty excited about this. Um, and then it says once it is all mixed up, I think that's a pretty good mix. And we get to add in our cilantro. Hmm, let me scrape that that way. Yeah. Um, and this is the coolest uh, direction of all. I just wait for like a full hour just to let the lime do its thing. Intermission while the lime juice is doing its thing with our ceviche. Um, I don't have any tostadas, so we need to make our own. I'm gonna use some of these. Uh, check this out. This is my favorite slogan of all time. Mas suaves que nunca. Could you imagine if you had the confidence to have that as your college essay or your Tinder profile? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I've never met anyone that suave to be able to pull it off though. Um, and I invited back two former guest stars, um, the air fryer and the easy bake. Um, and I'm gonna try to fry a couple tortillas and bake a couple and see how they do. I also understand how voltage works, so I'm gonna do that one at a time. But we'll get this guy on, whoa, this guy on deck. And let's pop this guy into the easy bake. No. The easy fryer. Memorial Day plate that I put together. Uh, in terms of what, plate appeal? It looks pretty fantastic. There also will be some deleted scenes with adventures in tostada making. Um, but let's, uh, it's got structural integrity, that's good. Let's see how we get into this. That works. That shouldn't work. It was just straight up crucifers, man. Crucifers, rather. Um, but because all the other flavors are the same, the tomato and the lime and the onion and, oh, I'm tricking myself into having to list things again. Anyway, the things in there um, it creates that same flavor profile. That's fascinating. And it spills. It's been about an hour and a half that it's been in the fridge, but that's some magic. Oh, speaking of things that have been in the fridge. Earlier in the day, I also made some Jamaica. 
um, and I didn't have orange to garnish it with, so that's a clementine cutie. But that pairs super nicely. Ah, <sighs> feels like I am not, in fact, shut in to where I have to cook for myself, but at a delightful cevicheria, which is exciting. <laughs> big pile of dishes just avalanched in the sink so that might be my next adventure forgot to say i changed the movie to coco for very obvious reasons i hope um look at that that's a beautiful color this is Jamaica I made earlier by brewing uh, hibiscus, dried hibiscus flowers um, and added in lime, uh, cinnamon sugar, no, cinnamon and sugar because I didn't have a cinnamon stick. Um, yeah, listing. I got to stop listing. Speaking of next adventure. Um, just like last time, quite a bit of leftovers, and I suspect this is the kind of dish where it's going to become more delicious as it sits. Uh, next time, I feel like I've been following all sorts of folks' recipes, so, uh, I should go back to my usual off-roading to figure things out, so we'll wait and see what kind of produce shows up in next week's box, and then we'll off-road next weekend. <sighs> Thank you for coming to my ceviche party with me. Cucumber is surprisingly versatile. I guess Oprah figured that out with pizzas and whatnot. Good job, Crucifer family. See you next week.